Willow, which is a new computer chip from Google that they just uh, they just um, tested with the new quantum computer. In a stunning breakthrough that has rattled the scientific world, Google's quantum chip has made an astonishing discovery, unlocking access to parallel universes. Yes, you heard that correctly. Once confined to the realm of theoretical physics, parallel universes may now be more than just speculation thanks to advancements in quantum computing. This is no longer the stuff of science fiction. It's a reality that has left experts deeply unsettled. But how did a quantum chip manage to tap into parallel universes? And why are scientists so alarmed by its implications? These questions have sparked intense debate, leaving many wondering what this could mean for the future of quantum computing, physics, and even the very nature of reality itself. Before we get into the details, let's first take a step back and understand the basics of quantum computing and what makes this discovery so extraordinary. Quantum computers are different from traditional computers in fundamental ways. While conventional computers process information in binary form using bits that are either 1 or 0, quantum computers leverage the strange properties of quantum mechanics to process information in quantum bits or qubits. Unlike regular bits, qubits can exist in a superposition of states, meaning they can be both 1 and 0 at the same time. This gives quantum computers the ability to solve incredibly complex problems at speeds that traditional computers can't even begin to match. Quantum computers also exploit another phenomenon known as entanglement, where two qubits become linked together in such a way that the state of one qubit directly affects the state of the other no matter how far apart they are. This allows for the kind of parallelism and processing power that could revolutionize industries ranging from artificial intelligence to cryptography to drug discovery. It is this very complexity, rooted in quantum mechanics, that has led to the unforeseen. As researchers continue to push the limits of quantum computing, they are beginning to suspect that these systems may not be confined to processing information within our universe alone they could be tapping into entirely different realities. The implications are so profound that some are questioning whether we have just unlocked Pandora's box. Now, let's talk about Google's latest development. Google has been at the forefront of quantum computing for years with their quantum computing lab, known as the Google Quantum AI Lab, making significant strides in developing functional quantum chips. One of their most notable achievements was in 2019 when Google claimed to have achieved quantum supremacy, the moment when a quantum computer solved a problem that would have been practically impossible for even the most powerful supercomputers to solve. At the heart of this achievement was their Sycamore processor, a 54-qubit quantum chip. It was a landmark moment for quantum computing because it demonstrated that quantum computers could outperform classical computers in specific tasks. But now, Google has taken things to an entirely new level with their latest quantum chip, which scientists believe has quite literally tapped into parallel universes. How did this come to be? The breakthrough occurred when Google's quantum engineers were evaluating the capabilities of the Sycamore processor through an experiment aimed at analyzing how qubits interact within a quantum system. While qubits communicate via quantum entanglement, researchers observed something unusual during the test as the qubits engaged with one another. The patterns they created weren't consistent with the behavior of any known system within our universe. Instead, it seemed like the qubits were tapping into information from other unknown sources, potentially from parallel universes. To explain this in simpler terms, imagine you're trying to connect to a network of computers. You expect to communicate with machines that are all part of the same system, but what if, while attempting to make your connection, you suddenly receive data from computers that aren't even part of the system you're connected to? That's essentially what happened during Google's quantum experiment. The qubits seemed to be pulling information from other realities that were not part of our known universe. This discovery has led many to speculate that Google's quantum chip could be tapping into dimensions beyond our own. These dimensions might represent parallel universes, each with its own unique laws and physical constants. 
The notion that quantum systems could interact with these alternate dimensions has been a topic of theoretical discussion among physicists for decades. However, it remained purely speculative. Until now, Google's quantum chip appears to offer the first concrete indication that these dimensions might actually exist. Now, you might be wondering, why is this so concerning for scientists? After all, tapping into parallel universes sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie. But shouldn't it be exciting? And it is, to some extent. But it's also deeply worrying because of the potential risks it poses, not just to the scientific community, but to the stability of reality itself. One of the key concerns is that once we start interacting with parallel universes, we may not fully understand the consequences. Right now, scientists have no way of predicting how these parallel realities might influence our own. Could interacting with these universes cause disruptions in our own reality? What happens if we accidentally bring something from a parallel universe into our world? Could it be dangerous? Could it unravel the very fabric of our universe? These questions are troubling enough to make even the most seasoned quantum physicists uneasy. The concept of parallel universes has long been debated, but now that technology may allow us to access them, new existential concerns arise. It's as if we've opened a door without knowing what lies beyond. With the immense power of quantum computing, closing that door once it's open could prove incredibly difficult. Additionally, the unpredictable nature of quantum systems only heightens these concerns. By definition, quantum mechanics is chaotic and uncertain, making it nearly impossible to control interactions between our universe and any parallel ones we might reach. In such an unstable system, even minor disturbances in one universe could trigger catastrophic consequences in another, including our own. But it's not just the unknown effects of these interactions that have scientists worried. There are also the ethical implications of being able to tap into parallel universes. Imagine a future where we have the ability to access an infinite number of realities. What happens when the lines between them begin to blur? Who controls the access to these parallel worlds? What happens if we start altering events in other universes? Could our actions in one universe cause irreversible damage to another? These are ethical dilemmas that are too big to ignore. Some have raised the possibility that the quantum chip's ability to access parallel universes could even have far-reaching consequences beyond science, like the potential to impact the course of human history itself. What if we could gain access to knowledge or technology from other universes? If alternate realities have evolved along different paths, could we make choices that drastically reshape the future of our own world? The ability to influence entire realities is both exhilarating and unnerving. But perhaps the most alarming question is whether our advancements in quantum computing could lead to unintended consequences on a massive scale. Could Google's quantum chip be just the beginning of a technological revolution we're not prepared for? As quantum computers grow more powerful, they may allow us to manipulate reality itself, potentially unleashing risks we won't fully grasp until it's too late. This concern is heightened by the fact that not everyone agrees on how quantum technology should be used to explore parallel universes. While some scientists are eager to push the boundaries, others urge caution. Many argue that the risks far outweigh the potential benefits and warn that we might be treading into perilous territory, experimenting with forces beyond our comprehension. The prospect of altering alternate dimensions presents both promise and peril. On one hand, it could unlock groundbreaking discoveries that redefine human history. On the other, it could expose us to dangers we are not equipped to handle. The ethical, philosophical, and practical ramifications of accessing parallel universes are so profound that they may forever reshape our understanding of science and the future of technology. So what's next? How do we move forward with this discovery? As scientists work to understand the full extent of what Google's quantum chip has done, there will likely be a growing push for further exploration. But this exploration comes with enormous responsibility. We are standing at the threshold of something that could redefine the very nature of existence. 
The coming years will undoubtedly be filled with both excitement and caution as we push the boundaries of what's possible with quantum computing and grapple with the questions it raises. In conclusion, the revelation that Google's quantum chip has tapped into parallel universes is one of the most exciting and concerning developments in modern science. We are venturing into uncharted territory, and the risks are as immense as the potential rewards. As we stand at the crossroads of science fiction and science fact, it's important to proceed with both wonder and caution. The future of quantum computing may be brighter than ever, but it's also more uncertain than we could have ever imagined. Before delving into Google's groundbreaking achievement, it's essential to grasp the concept of parallel universes and their connection to quantum computing. The notion of multiple coexisting realities, known as the parallel universe theory, is not a new idea. While it has long been a staple of science fiction, it has also gained increasing recognition in physics, particularly within quantum mechanics. The multiverse theory, which posits the existence of infinite parallel universes alongside our own, stems from various interpretations of quantum mechanics, most notably the Many Worlds Interpretation, MWI. Proposed by physicist Hugh Everett in 1957, MWI suggests that every possible outcome of a quantum event takes place, but in separate, non-interacting branches of reality. So, for every decision made, a new parallel universe is created to accommodate the outcome. For instance, in the case of a simple quantum decision, such as whether a particle is in one state or another, the many worlds interpretation would propose that there isn't a single result. Instead, there would be two universes created, one where the particle is in state A and one where it's in state B. This implies that every time a quantum event occurs, it spawns a new universe with its own version of reality, creating a constantly expanding multiverse. But how does this tie into Google's quantum chip? Quantum computers operate on the same principles that give rise to the many worlds interpretation. As quantum systems become more complex, they exhibit behaviors that suggest they are not just confined to one universe or one reality. Instead, their properties seem to interact with or be influenced by multiple parallel universes simultaneously. By manipulating qubits, quantum bits that can exist in multiple states at once, quantum computers effectively explore these alternate realities. This is why Google's discovery is so groundbreaking. It appears that their quantum chip may have directly accessed or interacted with these parallel universes, potentially tapping into alternate timelines and realities. To grasp how Google's quantum chip might have bridged the gap between our universe and parallel ones, we must first explore the concept of superposition. Superposition is one of the most intriguing and powerful principles of quantum mechanics. It allows a quantum system, like a qubit, to exist in multiple states simultaneously. Unlike a traditional computer bit, which can only be either zero or one, a qubit can represent both at the same time. In classical computing, data is processed in binary form, either on one or off zero. However, in the quantum world, a qubit exists in a blend of both states, a phenomenon known as superposition. This unique property enables quantum computers to process information at speeds that are unimaginable for conventional computers. What lies ahead for quantum computing and the exploration of parallel universes? While the full impact of these breakthroughs remains uncertain, one thing is clear. We stand at the edge of a revolutionary era. Quantum computing is evolving at a breathtaking pace, and the prospect of accessing parallel universes could redefine fields like physics, medicine, and artificial intelligence. However, with great progress comes great responsibility, as researchers continue to unravel the complexities of quantum mechanics and the potential of multiversal access. A cautious and ethical approach is essential. The opportunities are boundless, but so are the risks. The future of these technologies will not only hinge on our ability to develop them, but also on our wisdom in understanding their consequences and navigating the uncharted territory ahead.